Hello everyone, my name is Camille, I'm the owner of Morpho Soaps. Thank you very much for joining me for another video this week. But this video is going to be a very special video. As you can see in the name, it's the Three Amigos Collab Soap. And that's because we're having a collaboration, me, Rene and Eric. I'm going to just tell you a little bit about those two friends. I'll start with Rene. Rene Cormales, you're such a wonderful person. You were the first person who encouraged me to start a YouTube channel. You were the first person who supported me with the channel. You always encourage, you always show support. Until this moment, I'm very grateful for you. Um, I'm really, really blessed to call you my friend. I appreciate everything that you've done. Please keep it up. You do a lot for this soaping community and you're still doing. And the other friend is Eric, the soap man. Eric, I told you that before. We're in touch by emails. And I've mentioned that you were the first person who I watched his YouTube videos. I learned a lot from you. I'm also very, uh, how can I say, I, I, I cannot express enough. I'm very uh, blessed and grateful for your friendship. I really appreciate all the encouragement and all the support that you're showing me until today. So today it's going to be a special soap. We're doing a collab, the three of us. And in this collab, we have few conditions. It's for Valentine's. Uh, we're doing a soap for Valentine's uh, theme. In this soap, the, um, the mandatory field is to have three colors, red, pink, and white. And then it has to be three layers. And then there's many other optional uh, elements. Like for example, we can add piping, we can add another color, we can add layers, we can add uh, lining between the layers. Everything else is optional. So I'm gonna show you a little, uh, what I did for the soap. That's the soap I created. Okay, so these are the three colors. Now the white is not really white, but I tried my best. So we have a red, we have a pink, and we have a white. I selected to add piping as an optional. I selected to add a black piping. This is a fourth color that I added to the soap. And also I used the black lining in between the layers. If you can see, there's like a pencil line between the layers. And also, I used some mica and glitter, biodegradable glitter, to add on top of the black piping. I find that the black adds a little bit of contrast to the soap. I really hope you like the soap. So that was the soap I made. I scented this one with berry vanilla. It smells amazing. And I had so much fun doing the soap. I'm very happy to be in this collab. I'll put the link to both channels for Eric and for Renee, Soaps for Love and The Soapman. Please, please, please cons consider subscribing to their channel. Go and subscribe, show them some love. We really appreciate everything they're, they're done to me and they keep doing. Thank you very much for joining me again. Without any further ado, let's see how we made the soap and see you again next time. Thank you very much. Have a good day. So I'm starting off by mixing the colors. I have three shades of red, one light, one medium red, and the other one is a, is a vibrant red. So I put them on the side and then I mix my lye water solution. When it's heated, I'll add it into the uh, butters and oils, the hard oils, to melt them. So I'm using the heat transfer method. And then when everything's melted, I'll add the soft oils that contains as usual the Calvin clay, colloidal oatmeal and my coconut uh, milk.
After I mix all the batter and then I'm gonna divide it into three portions. Each portion will be colored differently. So the red one will be only red. And then for the pink portion, I'm using red mixed with titanium dioxide, which is white color. So that will create the pink. And then for the white one, I put much more di titanium dioxide and just a little bit of red. So you're gonna see now the three layers being mixed in separately but i'll start with the first one then i'll pour it into the mold and then i'll go with the second and then with the third now the first layer i put it in and then i put a line of black mica to create that pencil line in between for the second layer before putting the black mica i textured the layer a little bit to kind of have like a peaky mountain shape and then the third one i did not add the mica because this is where i'm gonna be piping on top of it And this is the piping layer where I'm using a black piping but in between each layer I mixed some mica, red mica with the rubbing alcohol and then I kind of spritz it on the layer and then I piped on top. So you will see the first layer then the mica with alcohol that's I'm adding right now and then the second layer and third it's pretty much the same so I'm gonna just move the video a bit faster 
and then I'll show you the top. It was a very, very beautiful top on the soap. It really looks amazing in person. And then I'm finishing the top with some biodegradable glitter, which gave it a really nice charm. And then 24 hours, I'm cutting the soap, getting the layers, and it really looked amazing. I was really, really pleased with the result. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for my very special friends, Renee and Eric, for this collaboration. I really hope um, to see you soon. Until then, stay safe, be happy, be positive, keep smiling. Do something that you like and enjoy life. Take care, guys.